So good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is Greg Walters and I am the Information Services Warren Technologist. Many thanks for attending today's Zoom session focusing on Box of Broadcasts. This service, which the institution subscribes to, works in tandem with the Educational Recording Licence to enable on and off campus of Freeview UK broadcasts. I intend to raise awareness of Bob and how it can benefit both University of Glasgow staff and students. So with that said, I'll just quickly go to the slide. So before we go any further, we'll just go over some uh, housekeeping. These sessions that are being delivered via Zoom will be recorded and made available through EdShare, that's the Institution's Repository for Learning and Teaching Materials. The recordings will include both audio and video. However, for the recordings, I will edit them so they comply with the GDPR and um, so they'll be and can I please ask that everyone just mutes themselves during the presentation. This will cut out um, any background noise. And if we can please keep questions to the end of the presentation, there'll be a brief opportunity for, uh, for Q&A. And to ask a question, just please use the raise hand function. That should be found under uh, the, particip uh, the participant section. If you don't have a microphone, I'd like to ask a question please just um, use the chat panel. And we'll primarily be focusing on Box of Broadcasts, which enables the on and off campus recording of UK three view broadcasts. Just to go over copyright briefly, section, uh, section 35, which is part of the UK copyright exceptions, this enables the recording of off, um, off air recordings on behalf of institutions. We're not going to examine section 35 because the UK copyright exception should only be used if a suitable license is not in place. And in the case of the University of Glasgow, the institution has an educational recording agents, agency license, the ERA, which works in conjunction with Bob. So due to having the license and the Bob subscription service in place, we won't be examining um, any kind of the copyright, the copyright exceptions. We'll just be really focused on Bob. But there will be opportunity to go over any copyright related issues, even either during the course of the presentation or uh, via the questions. So Box of Broadcast um, National is an innovative service that the institution has an annual subscription with. The service enables University of Glasgow staff and students to make brief on and off campus recordings of television programmes. You can record any uh, broadcast programme from 65 plus TV and radio stations. You can automatically request a program from the permanent archives, which go back as far as mid 2007 and contain program content from uh, nine channels. It's also worth noting as well, you have um, the kind of regional channels as well at BBC London, BBC Scotland, etc. And the same goes for radio um, stations as well. You have, for example, Radio 4 Extra as well. A more contemporary channels, what more for Channel 5, etc. Your recorded programs are stored indefinitely, so there's no expiry date. And these are added to a um, growing media repository that currently has over 2 million broadcast programs. And this is content that's shared from other users from subscriber institutions. Um, this easy to use recording system enables staff and students to not only record programs and radio on and off campus, but also schedule recordings in advance. You can also edit recordings and arrange into clips. You can also create playlists and embed uh, clips into a virtual learning environment uh, like Moodle, for example, that we have within the University of Glasgow. And you can also make use of the Green repository as I've covered uh, earlier on. So in the previous slide, we discussed how Bob can enable University of Glasgow staff and students to record, so record and store recordings of free view broadcast content. I would now like to discuss some factors that may impact the viewing and distribution of Bob content. This is a broad area, and first I'd like to tackle areas where Bob recordings, uh, the recordings and content cannot be assessed, or sorry, accessed rather. So recording can be done both on and off campus, but can only be accessed and used within the UK. So that has to be University of Glasgow staff and students that are based within the UK. Bob recordings aren't suitable for use in massive open online courses, MOOCs, 
or middle courses that are being accessed outside the UK. When you leave a licensed uh, educational establishment like the University of Glasgow, and that can be either as a student or a member of staff, you'll no longer be able to access the BOG system. So what I'd like to do now, I'd like to just discuss these in a bit more detail if that's okay. So I'll just go through it point by uh, point by point basis. So point one, not being able to access BOG con content out with the UK. This may seem restrictive, however, we have to appreciate BOB works in tandem with the ERA license, which I mentioned earlier on, which applies only under UK law, and therefore the license can only operate within the UK itself. For point two, the reason BOB can't be made available through massive open online courses or MOOCs is due to these being open to the public. Um, as discussed there, where BOB content can only be viewed by staff and students that subscribe in institutions that are based uh, within the UK. And just to go into this point a wee bit further, in response to the current access being restricted to the UK, at the University of Glasgow, we're currently trialling until June 2020, uh, time-limited access for all University of Glasgow UK-based staff and students want to, wanting to access content elsewhere in the, U, in the EU. All you have to do is log in using your GUID and there's no other technical or administrative input required. The system is based on recognition of previous use um, of Bob by that individual. And, it really, and at least this shows that Bob and ERA have made efforts to expand the scope and access of the service as well. So point three, um, as previously stated, Bob is available only to registered users at subscriber institutions. Once a person leaves said establishment, they can no longer be able to access the Bob system or its uh, content. And point four, um, excuse me, Bob is a streaming service and its content may not be copied or stored under any circumstances. So in the, in the following slide, we're, we're going to examine multiple ways content can be shared using Bob. Okay, so we'll now cover the way Bob content can be shared and made available as valuable resources and teaching materials as well. So same idea again, I'll just go through this in a point by point basis. So point one, to begin with recordings of Bob content can be used in a UK based University of Glasgow classroom setting, providing the usage is for instruction, so educational use. And point two, this kind of ties into point one as well, but providing acknowledgement of the source and title has been provided videos or playlists created using Bob may be incorporated into a secure platform like Moodle, for example, and you can make the Bob material available within your Moodle course by way of a link or embed code. And for point three, um, Bob videos and clips along with playlists can be shared with registered users via social media platforms as well. And for point four, Bob content can be viewed across all types of devices. So for example, mobile phones, tablets. And uh, for point five as well, Bob has a, a 10 foreign language channels. And these include languages ranging from Italian, French, and German. So it's quite an international experience as well. We're now just going to take a break from this presentation. I'm going to log into Box of Broadcast, go through the login process, and we'll examine some of the functionality within Bob, and we'll quickly go through the process of emb embedding a video clip within the middle course as well. But this is a handy page that might benefit um, everyone that's in attendance, but fellow staff and students as well. This is a page that goes over Bob and its functionality and some of the legal issues associated with Box of Broadcast as well. But what I'd like to draw your attention to is two things. There's the uh, this link here that I've got highlighted on screen. This will take you to the University of Glasgow login page for Box of Broadcast. So it saves you having to search through the Bob system and access it. You can access it directly from here, which will do so. I'm just going to click here. And what's actually happened is here, I've actually been automatically logged in. I can log out and go back through this process, but um, briefly just to show you what we've got here, this is what the box of broadcast system looks like. And we'll just quickly go through this. Um, starting with from right, we have my Bob. This is where the 
clips you have you requested are all stored. We'll examine that shortly. To the right of my bob, you'll see a guide. And this is pre presented in the fashion of a timeline you can see we have today. I can navigate to different areas using you know, the left or right arrow that I've got here. And this will just let me scroll through the content. And just to show as well, above the arrow we scroll through, we have, you can see dates along near the top of the screen and the same idea again, I can navigate to either tomorrow, a future date, you can see you can navigate in backwards and forwards. And okay, we're, we're back in box of broadcast. So just to go back to where we were, we're just going through the guide there. We'd examined what um, channels were available. And just to very quickly show you, you can request a program by going to a program you'd like and clicking on the rep uh, request program underneath the title. You can see here I have a message on screen. There's a copy available alternative. I can wait for a recording to be made. If I want to request this recording, I simply click on the I'd like to watch this button. What will now happen is um, Bob has made a note of my request, and as you can see, I'll be automatically emailed when the program is ready. One note regarding the requesting of uh, programs, you have a five program limit within a 24 hour period. And if we go back to the guide, you can see the programs that are available to watch already. They have the green tick underneath them. And we'll just quickly look at one very briefly. You can see here, it's available for me to um, watch right away. And before we go into embedding uh, clips within Moodle, I'd like to just quickly make you aware of the search facility within Bob. The search is based around meta tags. So you'll find if you enter something into the search bar, you might get a wide variety of um, programs that came back and they don't know what you have. I'd like to just draw, draw everyone's attention to the search. Underneath search, you have search options, and this is a great way to really help filter and refine your searches. You can see you can do it through availability, the channel, the date. So that's a really way of a useful way of making your searches more efficient and quicker. So what we'll now do is we'll now just quickly embed a clip that I have already, embed a video within Moodle. All I do is click on the share button. You can see I've got three options. The first two options are link-based. If I'm looking to share the content, for example, via uh, emails or blogs, or alternatively, I can make it, um, there is another link there as well, which is more convenient for sharing with people within you know, the University of Glasgow. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're looking to embed a, a clip within Moodle. To do that, all I do is simply highlight the embed code, I can either do control plus C for the keyboard shortcut, or I can just right click and um, select copy from the drop down menu. When I've done this, I can then go into my, my middle course, which I have ready. I've switched the editing on within my middle course, and from here, I can simply just do add an activity or resource. Under resources, I'm going to select label, click add. Within the um, editing options I have here, if those aren't available, just click on the toggle toolbar or the three horizontal lines to reveal the HTML editor. I click in here, then I simply I can paste the embed code within this by doing the keyboard shortcut of Control V. 
click on the update button and as you can see we now have our video clip embedded within our course. I'll just go save and return to course. And we now have our video embedded within our Moodle course and students can access this by simply clicking the sign in button and using their GUID and password to watch the video. All the videos within Box of Broadcast come with a citation so you can simply just copy this to Control C again. Add the citation. I can just do the same process again, do label, add, and then I can just copy and paste the text into the label. And I have my citation. So that was just a rough process of going through and, add, and embedding a video clip from Bob within the middle course. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to return to the PowerPoint presentation, we'll quickly summarize and then we'll have a Q&A session. Okay, so just to summarize what we went through with a brief overview of how to log into Bob and then examine how to look for a request to program using the guide. We then briefly examined the advanced search and went over the benefits of using the various search filters. And after looking at Bob's features, we then examined how to embed a Bob clip within a Moodle course. The links were made available to you all after the session has concluded, but there's a link to the Sway page and a link to the direct link for a box of broadcasts. And if you have any further queries relating to either today's session, or if you think of a question after the fact, then there's uh, email address you can send all queries to. I'm more than happy to answer them, so please um, note. No questions were asked during the Q&A session, so we'll now return to the question that was asked earlier. Question, paraphrase, what accessibility features do Bob videos have? Answer, Bob videos are accompanied by subtitles. This is the end of the recording. Thank you for your time.